In this video, we're going to talk about the time clocking methods for the harvest scale system. The first method that you could use would be the first bucket and last bucket method. In this method, the time clock starts when the picker scans their first bucket of fruit and ends when they scan their last bucket of fruit. To do this, simply place the weight on the scale, scan the badge, and the first weight transaction has been recorded for picker number seven. At the end of the day, the last bucket will be used as the timeout for that worker. This may not be compliant in all areas, and so Harvest Scale Systems has a method to actually clock workers in at the beginning of the day, in and out for lunch, and at the end of the day. To use this feature, there is a weigh and clock mode. When pressed once, the scale goes into a clock mode, which means that it no longer looks at the weight on the scale. And when a picker badge is scanned, it simply gives a time punch for that particular worker. If you notice, picker number 10 now has a clock in time punch. To go back to the weigh-in mode, you simply press the weigh clock mode again, and now the scale is active. So after worker number 10 goes out for period of time to pick his first bucket, they come back in, place the weight on the scale, and scan the badge. Now we have transaction number two for picker number 10 with a total weight of 2.22 pounds. There is a third function in the weigh clock mode. If you just press it, it toggles between the clock and the weigh mode. If you press and hold this button, there is a lunch mode or last bucket mode. When you press and hold, you'll see that lunch is displayed and then the scale goes back into the regular weighing mode. What now happens is that every time a worker scans their badge for a weight transaction, it issues the weight ticket and then a time punch ticket one to two seconds after the weight ticket. So here we will scan picker number 10 and this will kind of simulate them going out to lunch. Now we can see there are two tickets here. The first one is transaction number three for another weight ticket, and then transaction number four for a timestamp ticket. That worker would then go to lunch, and before walking back on the field, you would have to toggle back to the clock mode and give them a time punch back in from lunch. Now that worker can go out and continue weighing for the day. And for the last bucket of the day, you could also use lunch mode again by turning it back to lunch mode. And then on the last bucket of the day, you could simply scan their badge once. And they again get credit for a timestamp or a wait ticket, followed by a timestamp ticket. Thank you so much for watching.